At the heart of the lawsuits, the collaborative agreement, all of it then and now the Cincinnati Police Department. I talked with the two men responsible for leading the men and women sworn to protect and serve, and I asked them what they have learned from all of this. TPD has become really the leader in policing across the nation. You know, I, I think we are definitely one of the leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had those growing pains that many cities went through much later than we did. Cincinnati Police Chief Elliot Isaac and I walked the streets of Cincinnati in 2021, 20 years after the civil unrest that rocked these same streets. Seeing several hundred people angry coming down a, a street is something that you never forget. Were you scared? You know, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. In 2001, Elliot Isaac wasn't chief of police. He was in internal affairs and keenly aware of the shootings that had caused distrust among segments of Cincinnati. Do you think the collaborative was gigantic in helping this city heal? I think it absolutely was tremendous. And I think that locally, people don't often realize how huge it really was. And yes, it was painful at the time. I mean, there was struggle, but nothing good, you know, happens unless there is struggle. Tom Stryker was chief during the unrest. He helped institute the collaborative agreement. He tells me one of the biggest failures during the Timothy Thomas investigation was lack of transparency. Because of the errors of not addressing this from the very beginning, the night that it occurred, not talking to the media, not talking to the community, uh, not being forthright and open. We were in a position where it really didn't matter at that point. We were suspected of covering up something. Chief Isaac points to officer training, community oriented policing and transparency, whether in body cameras and cameras on cruisers or speaking to the media after some altercation. As quick as we can be accurate in the information that we have, we try to provide that information as quickly as possible. And how does that affect those who feel perhaps victimized by the police? You know, I, I think it builds that relationship. It builds trust. One of the things that I've learned is that the community can understand if we make a mistake. They can even understand if an officer does something wrong. What they cannot understand and what they won't tolerate is when they feel that they're not being told the truth. Both chiefs believe the collaborative agreement was key to helping Cincinnati heal. And even though the department has changed dramatically, believe it should never stop evolving. Policing has a long history to overcome, not just in Cincinnati, but as a whole. And I think that is something that we have to continue to, to work towards.